So it's time to make the icon, the Apple um, Touch icons for your mobile device, iPad, Android, etc. So um, I'm in Photoshop right now, and I'm going to create a new file. And once I create a new file, I'm going to set mine to be 200 by 200 at 72 DPI, and that and that's fine. Give it a name of my touch icon, and I'm going to save it. And now I've got that file, and then I actually want to save this file, so I'm going to save this as, make sure it's in the right spot. I'm going to save it in my assets, and it is in the right spot. Great. So I'm all set. I'm going to save it. So now I've got that layer. So now what I really need to do is I need to create the icon. So um, the easiest way to do that for me is I select all on that layer. And I can do that by Command A or File, Select, Select All. Um, it's also Control A on the PC. And then using the Option key or the Alt key on the PC, I am going to hit op Alt or Option and Delete. And I fill it with the foreground color. In this case, happens to be that kind of brickish red. Now, I then hit... Uh, command delete or control delete to deselect or I could come up to select deselect whichever you want to do but what I really want to do is come over here to my handy dandy plugin I really love this plugin it's by flaticon.com and it allows me to um, use a, a lot of the icons that are already out there flat icons that other designers have designed now remember when you use these you do have to make sure that you credit the author if that's the case let me um let me just look for something let's look for tablet and you can see that when i do i get a whole bunch of them. i'm going to do tablet uh with for that one i'm going to find a tablet this one looks like an ipad for me and i'm doing an ipad so i'm going to use that one i'm going to click on that and you can see down here it says you must agree to uh, attribute the, the designer so you really should do that is make sure you give the uh, attribution uh, um, that should be there for the designer so I'm going to just double click on that and you can see it's going to actually replace my layer which I because I was on the wrong layer so I'm gonna to have to go back and recreate my layer but that's easy enough to do I'm gonna come down hold down the command key or the control key on the PC and I can actually create a new layer below my current layer I'm gonna select all I'm gonna go through that same process again to fill it with the color nice I'm all set I like it uh, I'm actually gonna come back up to that top layer deselect I'm gonna hit command T or control T to get my free transform tool I want to just kind of shrink this down a little bit it was a little too big for me so I want to bring it down in the middle good looks good whoops didn't want to rotate it though all right looks good I'm gonna hit enter to set uh, to to accept it now the next problem that I have with this is that it's black on that brick red and that really doesn't look really really good for me so the easiest way for me to color something especially this is a smart object is I come over to my little FX over here I go to my color overlay I then come in here and boy that's exciting isn't it look at the colors on that my god your eyes are bleeding going to come over here and I'm going to select white and you can see that I've over uh, overlaid it and you can see that I can lower the opacity of it so I can change how it's going to be and make it more of a gray because it's mixing that white and the um, black but I want to do I do want to keep it as 100% so I'm going to click OK I'm going to close this window here and now in order to create my actual icons I need to do a couple of things the first thing that I need to do is I need to merge these layers so I'm going to select those two layers and I'm going to merge layers or command E now they're all one layer and it's one object but I need to take another step in order to get this to work for my um, icons so I'm gonna to need to copy it because I need a total of four icons I need two for the iPhone one for the regular one for retina and I need iPhone iPad and I need two for the iPad I'm sorry um, one for the regular and one for the retina so I'm gonna drag that down and drag it down again and drag it down one more time so I'm gonna start at the bottom be just for lack of other no, no other reason and what I want to do is I, I want to set its size so I want 60 by 60 and that's in pixels I want to type in Apple hyphen touch hyphen icon dot PNG now the reason I want to do that is because it's the Apple touch icon dot PNG that is actually going to be the name of the file alright so that's all set I'm gonna come up to the next one this one needs to be 76 by 76 um, and this is for the iPad um, iPod touch I'm sorry and then now I want to change that to 
hyphen 76 by 76. And then the next one is um, I, I want to come up and I also want to make a couple of others, right? So I need these additional ones. I need the 120 and the 152 uh, for the iPad and for the iPod. I can, I'm confusing those two today. I'm having a bad time. So I'm going to just paste that in. This one is going to be the 120, so hyphen 120 by 120, but I want to set it to be 120 by 120. Right now, if I were to generate it, it would be 200 by 200. So I'm going to make it 120 by 120, and then last but not least, my 152. So I'm going to just come in here, hyphen 152 by 152. Can't have any spaces in the, in the name, but I have to have spaces up front here. So there we go. Great. So now I've got everything named. I'm ready to go. And then all I have to do is come up to generate, make sure that image assets are turned on, save my file or make sure my file save, and then look at what we got down here. My touch asset icons. If I come in here, bang, I got the first one, the second one, the third one, and the regular iTouch Apple icon. And I'm ready to go. Terrific. All I need to do now is move them over in Muse. Awesome.